<laughs> so welcome to this practice where we're going to be tapping into that heart center, seeing if we can notice what love feels like in our body, doing some breathing and some movement, right? You take a choice, however you want to move, whether you're joining me for a standing, if you're going to sit in your chair, or if you're going to lay down, right? You can do all or most of this in all three of those positions, okay? I invite you to stand up and join me if you can, okay? Um, if you need rest, laying down is a great option, okay? You can still do a lot of things with your arms and your legs when you're laying down. So I invite you to take your comfortable position here, and we're going to start with the power pose. We've talked about the power pose, and you can make a power pose with your arms out towards the sides, palms face forward. You can have your palms down by your side if you're like, it's too hard on my shoulders or my arms, but this is also strengthening your arms, right? So if you wanna kind of challenge yourself, obviously if you're laying down, you're gonna have the support of whatever's underneath you. Okay, but I invite you to take a power pose and just start to notice your breath here. Notice your inhale and your exhale without trying to really change anything yet. We're just gonna kind of tap in Notice your body in space. Notice where you are. Notice your room. If you want to look around, just kind of ground yourself a little bit. You can do that. And then the next time you're exhaling, really exhale all of your air out. I'm going to invite you to take a nice deep breath in. If that feels comfortable and safe in your body, let's inhale, look up, even stretch the front of your throat open here. And then on the exhale, you're going to give yourself a little hug here. You're going to tuck the chin towards the chest, puff the upper back up. Give yourself a little squeeze when you get down there. So we'll inhale, open up, look up. And then we'll exhale, switch the arm that's on top. Again, chin to chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, open up, look up. Exhale, bring it in. Maybe bring something into yourself that you need today. Inhale, open up, look up, be open. Exhale, bring it in. Give yourself a little squeeze. We can noodle out the arms a couple of times, see how that feels. And then try the other direction. I have one arm that like does it better than the other one. All right. So I'm gonna invite you into a forward fold right now. Now, if you haven't moved your body much today, if you're not feeling very warm, um, definitely warm up to it. Okay. So I'm just going to invite you to kind of bend your knees, open up those hips a little bit. And then the forward fold can happen in the chair or standing. If you are laying down, you're going to be bringing your legs up towards the ceiling. Okay. And doing any kind of stretching that feels good for you. And you're probably not gonna be able to do the arm part if you're laying down. If you're sitting in a chair, the arm part might be a little bit challenging too, but also the arm part is optional, okay? So I'm gonna invite you to clasp your hands, okay? Bring them behind your back and down. So the goal would be to just kind of let those shoulder blades come towards one another so that you're feeling. So the same movement we were just doing, to open up that space, you're kind of doing this again. So the shoulder blades are coming towards one another. We're gonna take an inhale as we look up and then we're gonna exhale and slowly bending those knees as you come down into a forward fold. Let the head hang. Hopefully you can find some space to breathe here. That's the number one important thing. I just put lotion on my hands because my hands are slipping apart. And if your hands are slipping and you just doesn't feel good, definitely release the hands if you feel any pinching in the shoulders. So let's just hang out here for a moment. We can inhale and find a halfway lift. Maybe bring your hands to your shins and make a straight spine looking straight down. And then on an exhale, we can release back down into this forward fold. We're bringing fresh blood to the brain. And then we're gonna press into the feet. When we feel ready, we're gonna slowly come all the way up. You can inhale the hands up and look up. And then you can let it go, okay? 
Let's try that one more time, okay? So forward fold, hands clasp. If you clasp the hands on the other side, you can do it on this side as well, but just maybe switch the direction. So do like the awkward clasp. Okay, I invite you to kind of bring those shoulder blades together. Hands come down. You can inhale to look up. And then again, really bend those knees a lot, a lot, a lot. Let yourself be gentle. Let yourself flow down into a forward fold. Again, keeping the clasp only as as long as it feels like a nice stretch. And then when you're ready to release it down, release it down. Taking some nice breaths, bringing the breath into your back body. We'll inhale to a flat back here. And then exhale back down, forward fold. Really press into those feet as you inhale all the way back up to standing. When you're ready, you can even look up toward the sky, reaching up with the hands and then releasing it back down, seeing how it feels in your body. Okay. Now, again, we're standing here, option to do this in the chair, right? If you're on your back, you might um, actually just come into a twist on your back. Um, so see what you can do with what I'm offering you here. I'm gonna ask you to bring your feet a little bit further apart, bend the knees. You can take your hands to the tops of your thighs and we're gonna take a few breaths here. So take an inhale in the center. You can bring your body more upright or you can be leaning forward a little bit. That's totally okay. Just feel into what feels good for your body. We're gonna inhale in the center. And then we'll exhale, let one shoulder come down towards the middle. We're looking up toward this, the sky, if that feels good. If it doesn't feel good, don't do that. Do what feels good. Take another breath here. And then we'll switch it out. We'll inhale back to center and then let the other shoulder come towards the center. Maybe taking your gaze back up. Breathing here. And then let's go with the move, one movement to breath. We're gonna to inhale to center, exhale to twist. Inhale, center, exhale, twist. Inhale, exhale. Moving as slowly or as fast as you would like to inhale. Exhale. And then I'm gonna invite you to finish up here, straighten those legs and take a moment to notice how you feel. You can either come back into your power pose, right? Arms down by your side, arms out at the sides. Or if you'd like to, a third option would be to rub your hands together, create a little bit of heat, bring that heat to yourself, to your heart center, you can place one hand on top of another. You can have your eyes open or closed. Do what feels comfortable and safe in your body. But take a moment. You can even give yourself a little heart hug. Rub your heart a little bit if that feels good for you. And then you can switch the direction. And just take a moment to not only notice how you feel, but notice anything that's coming up for you at this moment, whether it's a person, place, thing activity, maybe something that you love or someone you love. Take a moment to consider all the people who love you and take a moment to consider all the people that you love and you can include your pets and activities in there as well. And maybe consider choosing someone, something that's going to bring you some joy today where you can engage in that giving and receiving of love. Right, you can take a moment to honor yourself for taking time to engage in a practice and um, see if you can take this into your day with you.